what's going on everybody no hat go ham here welcome back to the channel today we're going to take a look at the shortest testing list that we've gotten since farming simulator 22 was released and we've got 11 modders to talk about so let's jump right in starting off today with the testing list and it is very very short much shorter than the list have been since farming simulator 22 was released there's still a few goodies on it though, including the Emily Pack from Simulator Modding. We also have the JCB 435S, super popular in Farmsim 19. Even another Sammy Lamborghini Herlimin Pack, even though we don't have one yet. I'm sure we'll have a thousand by the end of the game series. Can't wait for those. And of course, an update to the French plane. We even have the Case IH Axle Flow 250 series from Custom Modding in testing for consoles right now. We're going to talk about that later. And of course, an update to New Barber Shock. That's awesome. With all that being said, we still have 909 mods sitting waiting to be tested though, and the current average waiting time for newly submitted mods is 16 work days, which is about March 29th. In addition to the mods and testing, 11 new and updated mods were released today on the Endgame Mod Hub, including the R90 Front Wind Rower and the Linder Lintrack Pack. I've already made a video showing all of these off, and you can find that lit video linked to the first pinned comment and description below. Giant Software made a few additions to their Farming Simulator Academy tutorial series on their website, including some new links under the Crops 101 section. They've got how to sow and harvest cotton, corn, and sunflowers, which have all been added. So if you're a new player to the series or you just want to see more information about every topic that you possibly can, check out the link in the description. Design FS Academy for more information on those. Giants will also be doing their podcast live tomorrow on Twitch at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. It's going to be 8 a.m. Pacific at 4 p.m. in the UK. After the release of their most recent podcast about two weeks ago, they're going to be experimenting with some live recording sessions. And during or after the podcast tomorrow, you're going to have a chance to ask some questions and interact with community guys Lars Chucky and Kermit from Giant Software live. I'm not saying it's just like the Farm Sim show, but I do know two guys that do this as well. Just saying, very close, almost suspicious. Clutch, making our way into modern news. Let's start with custom modding and the announcement of their next mod, the Honeybee Air Flex for all platforms. This is going to be available in seven different configurations. We had a 25, 30, 36, 40, 45, 50, and 60 foot header options. Man. And it's going to be flexible and follow the ground just like the one in real life. They're still working on this one, so it's going to be a little while before we see anything in our mod folders, but it is great to see a new header come into the game, especially from custom modding. Speaking of, they've released their Case IH Axle Flow 250 series for PC players over on their Facebook page. And as you guys saw on the testing list today, the Mod Hub version will be here very soon for all platforms. I have already made a video showing this off and all its functionality a couple weeks ago. Find that link below if you want to watch it again before the mod's official release. And if you're on PC and you want to download it, check out the mega link below. Sid Modding's back with us today for the first time since the end of January, so about a month and a half, to show off some stuff that he has been working on in the background. These are all mods that are going to be coming to mod up for all platforms, but heads up, we don't actually have pictures of everything individually, so the images that you guys are seeing on screen right now are only going to be a slideshow of what's provided. So, it's coming soon to all platforms. We got the John Deere 9020 series, 9030 series, 9600, 9610, 43 series corn heads, the 6070 STS, 9630T, and the 5060 STS. Some of these were mods of Farming Simulator 19, however, they have all been overhauled with new textures, new normal maps, and slimmed down from more textures. In addition, he's got some headers that are going to give you plenty of pictures of right now. Check it out. Look on the screen. Look, 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 look. In collaboration with 46 mods, he's got all of these for all platforms, including the John Deere 620F, 622, 625, 630, and the 635F headers. These are all going to be new correct header models. We got new textures, new spec maps, and new normal maps on all of them. Again, there's no release dates for any of this, but he's working hard on them right now. AD2 Studio was working hard over the weekend, getting together some updates and fixes to things that you have reported not only on the TLX 2020 series, but also on his TLX Phoenix series. Additionally, work continues on the 3500, this time publicly for everyone to see, not just channel members. I know the TLX 3500 is a very highly requested mod for all platforms, and the good news is, it's gonna be here soon. The question is only, how soon? And just as soon as I was finishing editing this video, David has released these pictures of the TLX Phoenix series with the X2 attachment dumper bed, and that's not what you're looking at, it's the tracks! There's some things in life that you don't know how to use with words, but you just know that they weren't missing in your life until you have them. 
And the tracks on the Phoenix definitely go with that. Uh, to get a closer look at these, check out 82 Studio. Link below. Otherwise, oh man, tracks on the Phoenix. So let's go. Next up today, we've got some really cool information from Rooster Mods. Something we haven't talked about in a while. Shown here is their John Deere 1075 hay wagon with the auto loading feature, which he says is coming to PC soon and perhaps even all platforms of Mod Hub. This was one of his most favorite projects that he's done, as this is more than just a mod, but it's something that he grew up doing when he was little, stacking hay bales as they came off the baler in this trailer right here. I know it's a very highly requested thing in Farming Simulator 22 to be able to make baby bales and have them pop up and auto load on trailer in the back, and it could be becoming a reality for all players of all platforms. The trailer will have a removable headboard with other customization as well, and hold over 100 baby bales. He's still working on it, but I think this is going to make a great addition to a lot of players' mod folders. It's been a while since we took our first look at AMG Agri's New Holland Zebra Series tractor, but he says that it shouldn't be too much longer because we should see it on Mod Hub hopefully by this Friday at the latest. Maybe tomorrow? Who knows? It is with Giants. He said it's just a waiting game at this point. Additionally, he does say that his Massey Ferguson 5400 is almost in Giants Editor. At least that was the status on Friday, like three days ago. He's hoping to get that part done this weekend. That probably is already done, but I'll let you guys know when we get more info. Okay, in the game right now, this is for all platforms, by the way, we've only got one, maybe two vehicles that run on biomethane. Nagramons wants to change that by adding, well, at least one more to that list, the new Holland T6 series, powered by biomethane. Not much other than this one screenshot is known at the time, no information, but it does bring up a good question. Do you want to see more biomethane powered machines in Farming Simulator 22, or do you prefer not to use them at all? Maybe they're just more of a headache than they're worth. Let me know your answer in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Even though KRKZ's Massey Ferguson 3700 AL released only last week on Thursday, he's already got an update with Giants waiting testing. Version 1.1, original front weight and wheel weights have been added. Various adjustments were made to the configurations. The next edition text have been added to the black color options. Weight configs adjusted, wheel configs adjusted, rim color options been added, seat cam has been added, various bugs have been fixed, and so on. He does say if all goes well, we should see this published in about three weeks. Speaking of mods with giants, EY Modding shares that he's still waiting on three mods with giants. The International 88 2 Plus 2 and Eater, the Massey Ferguson 100, and the Massey Ferguson 4000. I know quite a few of you guys have been asking about these, especially the Massey 4000, but with the waiting time being so long right now, it's impossible to know exactly how long it's gonna be before they're here. All I know is right now, well, we don't have any information, but I wanted to share at least the latest info that we've got. Okay, that's kind of a lie because we do have one new thing from him, but it's not a tractor, it's a wheelbarrow. I'm, I'm not kidding, it's a wheelbarrow. He's working on this for all platforms right now, but with all of his tractors and testing, he wanted to try something different. I, I like it. I know there's plenty of realistic and roleplay players out there that would use this all the time, and I'm all down for it. He's finishing it up right now and should have it with Giants in the next few days. LR Modding have released their John Deere E542C air drill for PC players, with all platform Mod Hub version being sent off soon for Mod Hub, meaning it's still going to be three or four weeks where it's even in testing, and he hasn't even sent it yet, at least not that we know of. In the meantime, PC players can download it now via the link below. It is 13 meters wide, plants normal seeding crops, holds 4,200 liters of seed, and requires 311 horsepower. Check it out, link below. Lancey Boy may be on a modding break, but he's still working on stuff in the background, of course. Shown here is his new grain storage slash garage. Sounds like he's gonna be putting together a few different versions of these as well, as he does say, anyone want a new placeable pack once I'm done? Yes, please. And lastly today, work on the Welker Farm map for Farming Simulator 22 has started from Mapper's Paradise. Shown here with some special silos that are gonna be included onto the map. You will need to empty into the silo with an auger like normal, but you're also going to need to turn on the silo to get it to unload. Don't worry, there is a version on the second farm that is closer to normal and what you guys are used to, but it's not on the main farm. I know these silo features were a little bit confusing at best at Farming Simulator 19 on the Millennial Farms map and the subsequent silo mod that was released separately. So hopefully they're a little bit more user friendly in Farming Simulator 22. New features are great, but no reason to reinvent the wheel. And there's no reason that I should continue to interject terrible segues that are very aware of themselves between the last topic and the outro, but it is what it is, and we keep rolling. Just like the self-aware segue to the outro, just like every episode of Farm Some News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. 
Take a breath. There's no release dates for Monsuma. <laughs> no one, not even me, knows when mods are going to be released. If I didn't talk about something you're curious about today, that just simply means that there's no new information at the time of recording this video. And make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything new and important going on in Farming Simulator. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you drop a like. Get subscribed if you're new. Join the Gohan fam. Make sure notification bells are on as well. That way you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. I'll be sad. Hope you have a great day. We will see you later. I've worn this shirt a couple times, but it says my mom is my favorite author. Yeah.